Hey folks, Rain to Go, Trout Mag Man here with you again. Went back down to uh, the tail race today, and you know, there's an old saying, when the fire is hot, you got to strike. Well, I'm going to keep going, I'll wear it out, I just make it old, uh, catching these Kentucky bass, but uh, they're in there, they're on a feeding frenzy, I'm catching good fish. Uh, well, they're all good fish when you're fishing ultralight tackle and uh, 2.3 pound test line. They're all good fish, really. But uh, I'm having an absolute ball. Uh, once again, bison colored trout magnet on a bison colored uh, 124th ounce shad dart jig head. But of course, I've, I've cast it so much and hit the, the side of that mooring cell down there that. Uh, uh, the paint's already knocked off most of it. Uh, but anyway, uh, had just an epic day of fishing. Caught over 80 uh, Kentucky bass today. Uh, on the video, you'll see uh, my best, you'll see my worst. Didn't catch a whole bunch of really big fish today. I uh, had a couple of big fish, but caught a, caught a whole bunch of quality fish, uh, a lot of quality fish. Uh, I would fish one mooring sail, catch three or four off it, and go down to the next mooring sail. Uh, I don't know, it just seemed that after catching a couple of fish, it'd slow down, but you'd go right down to the next mooring sail, it'd be on, it'd slow down, you go back to the other, and it's just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It was funny, uh, when I got there, it was uh, uh, there was a high layer of fog, uh, and I thought, well, the fish are gonna be turned on. I fished for about 45 minutes, uh, didn't uh, didn't catch a thing. I'm like, wow, I, I I can't believe this conditions. You know, low light. I thought the fish would really really be hitting. So I went down river about three miles to a uh, uh, big bridge. Going to fish the bridge pilings down there. Did a quick scan of the pilings. Uh, wasn't any fish on the pilings. So I said, well, I'll head back up to uh, the dam and see what I can find up there. Now. I'm not one much on signs, folks, but uh, uh, I've been seeing Osprey all morning. I uh, hadn't seen the Eagles down there uh, in a couple of days. And uh, when I got back up to the mooring cells, uh, the pair of Eagles came out and they started uh, circling overhead, uh, riding, just riding the, the wind currents, I guess. Uh, and they were talking a little bit. And uh, so I told myself, I said, well, I've seen the, the eagles. I said, that must be a good sign. Well, sure enough, I started catching fish. But what was funny about this, the sun had gotten up um, and that, that evidently turned the fish on or it was time for them to turn on. I, I, I don't really know. Uh, the current had not changed and it didn't change the whole time I was there. But uh, I left. Uh, I left on biting fish. I mean, uh, I've been there... I've been there about four hours and I caught them 80 fish in about three hours and 15 minutes and uh, something like that and it was getting hot and uh, that was my third day in a row to go down there and I said well I got to I got to get um, I don't have the stamina to, to hang with it all day like I used to just a few years back but anyway it's overall a great day now let me tell you folks if you if you're an ultralight angler and you're not fishing trout magnet for spotted bass. I've been doing this for years. This is the first, uh, of course, I just started this YouTube channel a few months ago. So this will be the first video you, anyone's ever seen of me catching these uh, spotted bass. But this trout magnet, I, in my opinion, is probably one of the best, if not the best, uh, spotted bass lure you can fish with if you're fishing ultralight. Because you, if you're a bass guy, you're not going to take out a medium light action rod and some two pound test line. I mean, that, that you know, I, well, first off, if you're a bass guy, you probably aren't, don't even have any two pound test line. But anyway, for an ultralight angler that's looking to catch some Kentucky bass, this lure right here, it's the best I've seen. And I've caught a bunch of Kentucky bass. I mean, a whole bunch. Uh, and it's, it's, it's just a producer. Uh, and of course, everybody knows me. They know that I like the bison color. 
that's performed very well for me. I got other colors. I got a shelf full of colors out here that I will use different colors rarely from time to time. But this bison color, it gets the job done for me and gets it done well. Uh, Kentucky bass like micro baits. There's no doubt about it. Uh, smallmouth bass like micro baits. I don't know of another microplastic in the states that's sold that's this this small. Uh, you can get some what's considered microplastics, but this this uh, trout magnet body is is one of the smallest plastic. I think is the smallest plastic bait I know of that's uh, sold in the U.S. market. Uh, it's a fantastic bait. So I would suggest if you if you have never fished a trout magnet, and you're an ultralight angler, and you're fishing two pound test line. I would suggest you try some of these. Uh, of course, if you're catching all the fish you want, I, if, and you know, then you wouldn't need to change. But if you're not, if you're not getting the results that you think you should be getting, and you're an ultralight angler, try some trout magnets. So, anyway, I hope a bunch of you that wanted to fish today got out to fish. I hope you caught fish. Most of all, I hope you had fun. Soil up them all, and remember, life is good. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This, this is a good spot, I do believe. My goodness, it's a big spot. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. Oh goodness gracious me. Oh my. Oh my. Oh me. Don't want to come to the net. He is a healthy fish. Oh goodness gracious. Oh me. Mercy. 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 Oh, it's just getting better every day. Woo. Twisted it up and tear it up. Man, 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 man. But you just look at this thing. Goodness gracious. He is a heavy spot. He ain't that long, but he's, he's, uh, my, my goodness. Yeah, he's, uh, he's only, uh, fifteen and a half, but I want you to look at that thing. I want you to just look. That's a heck of a fish right there, folks. Here we go, folks. Here we go with another one. Here we go with another one. Another spot.
mercy. Mercy, 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 mercy. He ain't as big as the last one, but I tell you what. Just a nice fish. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Here we go. I felt him coming up that ledge there. I'll tell you what, it's just life is good, and as Richard Sims says, it's just getting better. Decent, decent spot. Yes, sir. Nice spot, really. They sure are pretty. They sure are pretty fish. Oh, he ain't quite ready. He ain't quite ready. spot. Give me fight. Oh, oh, folks. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Come on out of there. Come on out of there. Well, I say he's a good fish. I he's a good fish. you look at what he's got in his mouth if you can see it this thing this joker hit my trout magnet and I want you to look at that I'm going to try to pull it out he done got it that joker it's got a shed in him that's, well, he'll eventually get it down. Let's let him go. There 
Here we go, folks. Here we go. What this is? This may—I don't know what this is. Well, I believe he's <laughs> whatever he is. He—he's in control right now. That's for sure. Another big old spot. Another big spot. Another good spot. Oh, talk to me. Talk to me, yes sir. Kentucky. Oh, they a lot of fun. They are a lot of fun. Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Kentucky before they fight. Hit it on the phone. Hit it on the phone. Yes, sir. Now he knows he's good. Take them all day like that. There he is, folks. There he is. <laughs> he ain't no great big one, but I tell you what. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun.
little spot. There he is, folks, right on the drop off. Right on the drop off. Yes, sir. Have a decent spot. Folks, I think I'm gonna call it a day. I've lost track of how many fish I have caught. I didn't catch as many big ones today as I caught yesterday, but I, I caught a lot of fish today. All of them are gonna be on video. Uh, caught this size right here, caught <laughs> more than you can count, I guess. Uh, just been an awesome day. So, let's take it to the house. <laughs>